Hi again, this is Pat from the Animatronic Shop and this is the sixth and final video on how to build your Starbot. In this video we're going to be building the mouth and after this we should be good to go and you should be able to make some awesome things. So first, I have two jaw pieces. One is the jaw left and the other one's the jaw right. The only difference is the size of the hole. Again like with the eye support, the smaller hole goes on the right hand side so that'll grip the, pl the screw. And if, if the laser marked the plastic correctly you'll see jaw right and jaw left on the plastic. So first I'm going to take jaw right and I'm going to take one of these I call those jaw pivots because when you go to do a paper model this will give you the exact jaw pivot position and I already installed the screws, the nuts, into the T-slots. So put that into place, grab a machine screw and just snug that down. So there's the jaw right. Now I found a nice little way to make this next part a little easier. Here's the jaw left. Flip it around, I'm going to put the screw through the hole that's just above that slot. And so it holds it in place a little bit. For now, I'm just going to put, put a piece of tape over it just to hold it in place. But I'm not going to cover the slot. So now that, that's all ready to go. And it only has to just, just touch it a little bit just to hold it in place. Okay, so now we have one big plastic screw. Now is when we'll be using it. In through that hole and grab one of these spacers and slide it on. Now on your bot, we're going to be using that hole right there. Right through like such. Now on the other side goes the spacer and then the other half of the, the, the jaw. So I'm going to have to sit the bot down so I can hold this and just tighten it down. Again, we don't, nothing gets made too tight. So if that doesn't sort of flop down, then it's too tight. So I'm just going to back it off so it moves nice and freely like that. Maybe just a pinch tighter. There you go, that's perfect. Now that piece of tape we had holding that screw in, I'm going to put this jaw pivot in place like that. And there, there are these pass-through holes that you can see. I'm going to use the pass-through holes with my screwdriver to tighten up the jaw pivot on the other side. And then once, once that's in, I just pull off that piece of tape and you can see the two, there maybe you can see it better, there we go. The two jaw pivots are in place. Now I'm going to take the, what you might call the bottom lip and two of these machine screws. Let me put this over here and and just put the two machine screws in.
nice and snug but not too tight. So there we have it. There's the bottom jaw almost completely done. Nice. Now I'm going to put on the top lip. Again, same thing. I'll have to put the nut in. In the T-slot. Align the slotted, the slotted tab. Put the screw in. Snug it down. And there you go. Your bot is almost complete now. Okay, so now it's time for the third and final servo. Again, I'm going to do that with the, the plastic screw, push it in place. Like so. And the servo shaft. towards the bottom of the bot just to make sure you saw that the shaft is downward snug these snug those down Okay, this is the last link we have to do. So, taking my last servo horn, plastic screw through the jaw link and the servo horn in this position this orientation. So we want it to look like this. That orientation. Okay? Take one of these a little bit longer plastic screws and we're going to put the jaw link on. We're going to be putting it into this hole right here at the top of the jaw. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the jaw servo. That goes into the third position on this harness. I'll plug that in. Now I'm going to plug the Arduino, the USB, into the Arduino and press power. So now, you know, my eyes are moving and the jaw servo is moving. Now I want to find that location like we've been doing all through the video. I'm going to pull the jaw up and I like it where it's left where it's a little bit in the open position, just a tiny bit, but not smacked really close tightly. 
and when I find the spline that's closest to that position, I snap it in. I push in on the servo horn like that. Take the last servo horn screw Like I said, it's much easier doing this when you don't have a camera right in front of your face. Okay, so straighten out my servo wires a little bit and ready? There we go. There's the mouth. There's the eyes left and right, up and down. And your bot is complete. So have some fun and make some cool videos and send them to us and we'll put them on our gallery. Thanks again.